Shotgun shells have five components, the case, the primer, powder, wad, and shot. A primer and powder are the first things to go into the case. Next, the wad goes in on top of the powder, followed by the correct amount of shot. Next, the end of the shell is formed and then crimped closed. When a shot shell discharges in the chamber, the firing pin strikes the primer. The primer ignites the powder, forming the expanding gases that force the wad and shot forward. This forces open the crimp as the wad and shot continue out of the case and down the length of the barrel. Shot comes in various sizes, from number 12 to triple aught buckshot. The larger the number of the shot, the smaller the actual size of the shot. Shot shells can also be loaded with slugs for hunting big game. Selection of shot size should match the target. Be sure to consult a shot shell guide for proper recommendations. When shot leaves the muzzle, it travels in an ever-widening stream that impacts the area of the target. Sizes of shot differ in how far they will shoot an effective pattern. Matching the proper shotgun shells to the type of hunting conditions is crucial to effective performance in the field. Hunters should test the pattern of their shotgun at varied ranges so they will have a better idea of the gun's performance. Steel shot has been required throughout the United States for use in waterfowl hunting. Some studies have shown that many waterfowl die each year from lead poisoning. Lead pellets from traditional shot are picked up by feeding birds and ingested. Lead is toxic to the birds, as well as the predators that feed on them. To diminish this impact, steel shot has been developed as a replacement. Waterfowlers need to pattern and shoot their shotguns with steel shot, just like they do with lead shot, because steel shot does shoot differently. The ranges are shorter, and the hunter must learn the differences.